Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hey, my name's Emily. Earlier in the year, I ordered a John Lewis Returns palette. We went through it, we saw what worked and there happened to be a lot of really good things in there, most of which worked absolutely fine. It was a winner. So I decided to do it all over again. Now, if you haven't seen that video, it's definitely worth watching. I'll link it in a card and down below. However, I gave my mum the task of choosing the palette this time. So there's also an element of surprise for me in that aspect. These things, you order the palette, you know what's in there, but you don't know whether they work or not. So there is a list you get, you know, you, you see, I obviously haven't this time, but yeah, you have no idea what condition they're in. There could be things that people have returned and they're in the palette because the box is damaged and they can't resell, or it could be things all the way through to something's damaged and smashed and they just can't resell it, it doesn't work. So it's a big risk. The palette arrived about 20 minutes ago, it is downstairs and I cannot wait to get into it. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you do subscribe. And I'm also in the process of renovating my home, which I'll be sharing on this channel. Well, I already am. So if that's the kind of thing you enjoy, make sure you hit subscribe. Give this video a like if you would like me to do more so I know. I know in the last video, a lot of you were quite frustrated because I didn't actually share where I got it from, which in hindsight, maybe wasn't the best idea. Uh, so don't worry, in this one, I'll be giving you all of the info that you need. Shall we head downstairs and open it up? So in this video, I'll be opening the palette with you showing you what's in there and we'll also go through and test everything and see what works so last time we got really really lucky so i'm not really expecting that much this time also mama chose it so i don't actually know what's inside i'm low-key nervous look how huge it is yeah it's it's big it's actually huge it's also wet because we didn't have room to put it in the garage because it's full of my crap, obviously. <laughs> now what I'm hoping is that mum's chosen one that's got some kitchen appliances that I need for my new house. Not what, well, I've got a lot of my appliances. If you actually haven't seen one of my previous videos, I bought secondhand appliances for my kitchen in the house that I'm renovating from a 30 million pound house. I had no idea. I just found this random like used kitchen website online and went and purchased them. It turned out to be this 30 million pound house. I'm clearly feeling very thrifty at the moment. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I really wanted the appliances. I didn't wanna spend that much money on them, no. All my neighbors are watching me. They've already texted my mum being like oh my gosh is that what I think it is <laughs> okay first reactions I mean it's a bit soggy but that's my fault for not going anywhere indoors to put it okay so the boxes are two separate boxes this is the oh I see smeg oh my goodness oh a Dyson a shark oh my goodness okay oh, I have no idea what's in there that looks fragile maybe that's like a light fitting or something I don't know or are they all electrical appliances I assume she's chosen an electrical appliance one we have a bosch iron what's this a sharp cordless lightweight is this like a mini oh my goodness that's so cool that's so cool and then what's this smeg thing oh my goodness <gasps> is that a coffee machine i think that's a coffee machine okay let's oh my gosh i don't even know what's under there okay let's open this one oh my gosh an espresso Okay. <laughs> oh my god. An espresso latissima one. I used to have. Is that a smeg? Oh my. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. I used to have a, the latissima pro, and I actually recently upgraded to a new espresso, and I gave the latissima pro to my neighbour. But highly recommend. It was so good. So this is the. What even is this? I don't know what this is. And then it looks like we've got some other kettles down here. Okay. An AG cordless vacuum. Oh, is it? <laughs> coffee machine <gasps> stop it oh my gosh it is oh my gosh if you didn't watch the previous video there's a little bit of rain on you sorry yeah so if you didn't watch the previous video the whole reason i did the order of the previous john lewis returns palette was because i really wanted this specific sage coffee machine and it was like two grand and i just didn't want to invest that and then it happened to be in one of the lots and the lot itself was around like two grand so i was like well this is a huge risk but if it pays off then i basically got my coffee machine that i would have paid that much money for at some point anyway and then all this other stuff there's other things in here as well that i can't even see guys oh my gosh okay uh, i'm going to carry everything inside we will open it up go through it see what works see what doesn't and oh my gosh my neighbors are coming to have a look. They're about to fully freak out. Are you ready? Yeah, come on there. Oh my God. 
And then this side, look, a Smeg coffee machine, a Dyson, a Sharp cordless. I'm getting all my Christmas stuff out next week. <laughs> Honestly, how wild is this? I still don't know what's in here. I don't know what's in here. There was this cardboard box that's down here. I opened it up and it was another Sage coffee machine. <laughs> Who knew? I'm kind of blown away right now. So let me fill you in. Any returns palettes that I've purchased in the past have all been through an auction and all of the auctions have been hosted by William George. Just for full transparency, they did see my last video and they were like, hey, let us know if you ever want another palette. And with me renovating my house, I was like, this kind of feels like the perfect time to give it another go. Like I said, my mum did pick this lot. So this wasn't like a specifically put together lot for me or anything. Mum went on the website and just chose one of the lots. And I mean, by the looks of this, she's chosen pretty well so I'm just really really hoping that the things work it's it's so crazy because it's like the adrenaline rush of like the risk you've taken and it's really exciting but then it's also like you're sat there thinking but none of this could work so I'm like low-key freaking out right now like I, I want to know what's in here also before we hop into this actually I really want to do another one of these videos but with clothing like they do on William George they do palettes of clothing from John Lewis so give this a thumbs up if you would like me to do that I, I've heard rumors there's like converse and things in them but i don't know anyway so there's some things here that have obviously been used this KitchenAid kettle is one like there's literally lime scale in the bottom so i'm assuming that's not going to work but then there's other things like this blender like this doesn't look like it's been used but there's other parts of it that look like they've been used this is like a what I got for Christmas video, but it's not Christmas and it's all home stuff. This is my idea of a great time. Imagine receiving all of this on Christmas. It would literally be the best day of your life. So this has definitely been used and put back in. So it's been taken out. Let's, I have no clue like what color this is or anything. Oh, it's white. Okay. Okay, so that looks unused. Can you see? Okay, it's definitely been taken out of the box before, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, no, this still has the electrical cover on. Let's try, because it means I can try this on the cream base and we can see if it actually works. Okay, we'll start with the one that looks like it's fine because that feels like a good place to start. I mean... obviously we'll do some further trialing but like on first impressions it blends so let's try this base on this cream one and see if it initially works i mean i don't want to do it much more because i don't want to create unnecessary like heat in them when then there's nothing in there on first glances they're both working obviously you're gonna do some further tests and there could be like electrical issues and things like that which we'll look into but right now it's looking promising the only thing is to note this one didn't come with a box and it's dirty so it's obviously been used before and the other one isn't dirty and did have a box and it has just occurred to me that there is no lid for this one either so i mean it could potentially just be a case of buying another one of these but we'll figure it out okay my friends these ninjas retail 179.99 now this appears to be working like it's the... sorry it's really loud the only thing that i can find that is slightly off is so it's got a like a release top so you have to push to release and it doesn't seem to have pushed down t like completely so i don't know if when you use it if it's not sealed properly and liquids coming out that could be it because there is a massive gap but it could just be like that so right now i can't actually work out what is wrong with it on like an initial glance which is a good sign that's really good but yeah i'll test it out properly and i'll try and figure it out for you i have no idea how i'm supposed to know if a kettle works or not without literally just boiling water in it oh i mean it's turning on which is awesome i mean potentially it doesn't get up to temperature that could be what it is i mean i'm plugging it in switching on so that's something and but as with the others i'll give it a proper maybe that's the problem it's probably because it's got no water in it but as with the others i'll go and give it a more thorough test but on initial tries it turns on so that's something this i'm excited about i don't really drink coffee like this like in a pot like black coffee but this makes me want to because it's just the coolest looking appliance ever oh no it's all chipped man can you fix that i wonder if they've literally returned it just because it's chipped if they have just returned it just because it's chipped then it could be in full working order but let's plug it in okay it turns on 
I mean, it's definitely been used. I can smell coffee. But I wonder what the issue is. It looks like immaculate for something that's been used. Like, there's not really many signs of wear besides like the smell of the coffee. And then obviously the chipping on the actual device. Yeah, I mean, this one is quite badly chipped on the side. Like, I would be disappointed if that arrived and I'd paid for it and it was chipped like that. So if it was just the chipping and they'd maybe tried it out and just thought, oh no, like I just can't get past that. I totally understand that. I mean, it turns on. I need to give it a go and see if it works, which I will absolutely do. So yes, moving on. So I'll give this a go and let you know the follow-up. All of the follow-ups will be in the description box for the things that like I can't try right now in the video. Obviously I can try the vacuums now and I can try the air purifier now and I can try the toaster now. I just don't have coffee beans right now to try the coffee machine. So the follow-ups will be in the description box. So the things that I'm most excited about are the coffee machines. This is the Sage, the Duo Tempro. Now the price difference between this one and this one is astronomical. This is like 200 pounds, this is two grand. So it's like 10X. Ooh, okay. I mean, so it actually doesn't look bad, does it? I don't know if they've just put it back in really nicely. Oh, maybe they have. So one of the filter baskets has been used. So this machine has been used. So as you can see, the machine is wet. Now that's not rain, that's I guess from water they left in there because the outside of the box and everything of this one was completely dry. So it's obviously been used, you can see. Someone's definitely not cleaned it. So either they've used it a few times and just gone, look, this is just not for us and chucked it back in the box and said no, or it is faulty. So as with the other ones, let's plug it in and see if it turns on. I mean, I assume it does because there's coffee stains. So you would think it works. Yeah, that's as far as we're going. <laughs> but that's one of the examples of just something that can be very deceiving because in the box, like the box is immaculate, so you would potentially think that it's fine and then you open it up and actually the condition of it is uh, definitely used. I wanna know what's in here, but let's do the Dyson first. The only reason I question Dyson's being returned, like there must be something wrong with it because why would you return a Dyson? They're so easy to use and set up. I just, I don't know why you'd ever return one. Okay, let's piece it together. Oh, it's snapped. Can you see? That's why it was returned, it's snapped. I mean, I wonder if it's something you can get a replacement for because Dyson are quite good at getting replacement parts to you. So potentially it could be something you can purchase a new part. Let's open this. I've never seen this before. I guess it's a German brand. Grab and go, glide some charge to you, some back. I mean, it looks very innovative. I wanna know, you watching, are you the type of person that keeps the boxes? So if your item like this got broken, like a few months, like a month after you've got it, would you still have, that's loud, would you still have the box to return it in? Or would you be one of the people, like from my last video, if you watched it, that sent it in like bin bags? Wow. This looks like the main body of the device. So we need a bottom piece, here we go. This feels like it should go in there, but it's not going in. This has definitely been used, as you can see, it's dirty. Oh, okay, no it is, it is. I wonder if there's any battery. I mean, I couldn't get this to go in, so I wonder if that's why they returned it. It doesn't feel like there's any suction. I like the concept. I like that there's two on and off buttons, there's one down here and one up here. This makes me realize how lucky I was with the first palette that I got because most of the things worked and this definitely isn't working. I don't know if this is bent or what, but this is brand new. It's, I'm touching the bottom of it, but this is supposed to slip into here and I can't get it in. I'll try and figure out what the, uh, <laughs> me. My dad will try and figure out the root cause of this and see if it's something that we can save and use. But for now, that is the issue and that's the state of it. Let's open the mystery package. It says, I've just seen, return to Dyson hairdryer. So I'm assuming it's a Dyson hairdryer to the info. Wow, this has definitely not been put back in properly, so it's definitely been used. There are the attachments. I assume this is the actual body. This is the Dyson Supersonic Fast Drying No Extreme Heat uh, Hairdryer. <laughs> It's a Dyson hairdryer. We all know Dyson hairdryers are elite and definitely at this time of year, not the easiest to get hold of. Okay, so I've just whacked it back in. Let's see. I mean, it... 
looks barely used. Like there's no hair residue. The body itself seems to be working absolutely fine. I guess maybe one of the attachments doesn't work properly or something. Is this the new smoothing tool? I feel like if you're paying that much for something and it's something's broken on it, you do want it to work properly. So I would understand returning it for that. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, just on first glances, it seems to be working absolutely fine. The packaging situation is just a bit of a mess. Yeah, I mean, that's a winner. Whilst we're on the Dyson hype, let's do the air wrap. I don't know how I've done all of this without scissors, to be honest. I really, 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 really hope this is good. It's got a phone number on for Dyson, so I'm assuming it's broken and they've given someone like the phone number to ring and get a spare part or get it fixed. Oh, okay. That's still in the top, so whoever's ordered this has really looked after it, so it would be a shame if it's... Oh no, it hasn't been used. I was really confused then, I was like, well it looks like it's not been touched, but it definitely has. There's like fluff and dirt, but it's like they've kept all of the bits and bobs, like the this brush tool's still in its casing, which when I got the air up, be air up before it wasn't. There's no hair on that one. All the little silica pads are still in there. I mean, it's working fine. It's a little dirty, but none of the attachments are dirty. So I don't really, I don't really understand. Like this is the full set. It's in working order. It, I don't understand why it looks a bit dirty. It's, just, it's a bit fluffy, not dirty. It's all the fluff from here, but I don't really know why it looks like that. Hello, so it's been about two hours. I took a break to do my workout class, have some dinner, and I've just grabbed a coffee. And I thought we would continue. I'm trying to make my hair look good, but you know when you've had it down all day and then you put it up and it's like, now you've kind of committed to it being up so you have to try and make it look half decent and it's just it's not working for me so give me a second and I hopefully will look a tad more presentable I was actually thinking whilst I was in my workout class how funny it is how like coffee machine heavy this palette is because the last one I did was very uh Dyson heavy as in like I had like two Dyson vacuums I had two air wraps maybe one air wrap and two corrals two corrals so yeah it's just really funny so I think next we're gonna do the sage I haven't really looked at, like in this area very much so we have an iron we have a shark what do they call it a dust buster like a mini vacuum a toaster, a Bosch vacuum, an air purifier, and then the espresso and the sage, Oracle Touch. I think we're going to open the Oracle Touch because I'm the most excited about that. I, yeah, I don't know, especially after seeing the condition of the other sage one, I'm like really, really intrigued. I want it to be good, but I don't want to like kid myself that it's good if it's like not looking good, if you know what I mean. So this, there's no like seal on this, so this has definitely been opened, I would assume. Oh, I'm nervous for this one. I think this is the one I care about most. Just, I don't know. Oh, so is that a missing part, potentially? Unless it's something that they've kind of put together and like in the machine and just left it in as, as they sent it back. But the installation manual is still in there. This has definitely been used because there's coffee grounds in here. Everything smells used. That's the thing with coffee, you can smell it a mile away. But it looks like it's been used like once, like tested. I just don't want to get hurt lifting this out. What would you say? It looks like it's been used like once or twice, doesn't it? it yeah. It's obviously, someone's either got it. See, you don't know whether it's, some people some will return it because it was like, oh, whatever I'll pay for, it's not worth it, and I can send it back. Others, it's like a full it, but. But it's, see, look, come on, someone's used this once and gone, no thank you, haven't mm. they? It's still got the thing on. Power it up. Oh yeah, how cool. I mean, we can't really tell until we try it out, but I have this exact coffee machine that I got in a pallet like what eight months ago maybe it was at the start of the year and it's just so crazy exciting when you get something that you've like really been wanting and it's just at such a good price i mean i don't I have no problems with people using things first like someone's used this once or twice do do i mind absolutely not moving on let's do oh no that was supposed to go where did this even go in the box this room is so cluttered, I wish you could see everything around me. Let's open the toaster. So, toasters don't really excite me. Has anyone else seen that, like, $300 toaster that everyone in the US has that, like, you can see it toasting? I do kind of want that. This type of toaster with the little, kind of, prong things on the side reminds me of my grandma. And I don't know why. I assume it's because she probably had a toaster like this. There's no crumbs. And that's the giveaway, isn't it? Is it on? 
Ah, like that. Look, you can smell that it's brand new, yeah. can't you? Wow. This is nice and warm. What, should we try this vacuum, Mum? Ooh. Dust. I, I think this is because uh, I do the hoovering. Can you guys see here? It's become weak because that bends forward. Yeah. Oh, it's something snapped, essentially. Let's open the iron. Mum loves ironing. Oh yeah, build up of lime scale. Yeah. They're bulky, aren't they? It's heavy. They are. Oh my goodness. These, these steam ones. Eco, shirts, cotton, jeans. Oh my God, that's smart. This this is worth a lot of money. Really, should I'm we, should we Google now. it? 285 pounds. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this up and put it in my storage unit ready for when I move. It's a really nice one. And it's purple, which is quite nice. Okay, air purifier. I have never come across this brand before, which is very exciting. I love trying something new. It looks unopened, okay. No, it's literally unused. So this is a brand new air purifier. These retail at 99 pounds. And we have a brand new one. And last, but by no means least, we have this Bosch Unlimited Series 6 vacuum. I mean, considering how impressed I am with the iron, I've got like high hopes for this. It has not been used. Can you see the dust chamber is not ever. It, see, this is so weird because it looks like there's never been any dust in there, but the poles dinked. So I wonder if they received it and it was dinked and they just thought, no, that's never been used. It's literally never been used. Oh my goodness, I wonder what's wrong with it. Maybe it doesn't turn on or something dramatic like that. It's a bit, I mean, to be fair, the damage could be could have been done on the return. It's so funny. I just find myself like expecting the worst and then it's something good and I'm like, are you sure? Maybe it might help if I attach the battery. Yeah, no, that would be super helpful. I'm gonna let it charge for 10 minutes and then we'll give it a proper go. Oh my goodness, I haven't done the Nespresso. I was getting ahead of myself. Now this box has been torn to shreds. However, we do not judge a book based on its cover because you never know. Someone might have just been so excited to get into this that they mauled it when they first opened it. Who knows? I'm gonna put some water in it and use one of the pods that they've left and we'll make a coffee and see if it works. Okay, initial impressions, it doesn't hold very much water, but it is what it is. This is my cup that I keep my toothbrush in. I shan't be drinking this, by the way. In she goes. Oh wait, I didn't plug it in. In the pod goes. Well, there's no milk, so we'll just do an espresso shot. Fine, <laughs> like, what more can you want? I would class that as working absolutely fine. I mean, it's a coffee machine. It made me a coffee. You know, what more can we expect? And I just thought, whilst I have water, let's try the kettle. This is the most interesting kettle I've ever seen. I'm a massive KitchenAid fan, but I've never been too keen on these kettles. Just, I just think it looks a bit odd. Put it on, and I'm gonna put the heat up to 100. This is a good one, the coffee machine. That's a real good one. That's probably like 170 pounds. I've just Googled it, it's 169.99. How on it am I? Okay, nothing's happening. I'm YouTubing how to use a KitchenAid kettle. I'm gonna leave the uh, electrician to look at this one. Okay, let's go and try the Bosch vacuum. Mum, you're going to love it. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, potentially, like, I wouldn't, I haven't used it long to know if there's like battery problems or anything, but it works initially. But yeah, that is everything that I got in the returns palette. It was a mad one. These are always so exciting because you never know what you're gonna get. But my favorite things are definitely the Sage Oracle Touch, the Nespresso machine, the Airwrap Dyson hairdryer. I think I might keep the Dyson hairdryer for myself. And then I know my brother-in-law will probably want the coffee machine. I think my mom will end up claiming this. My friend already has just texted me saying she wants the blender, <laughs> the Smeg blender. So yeah, it's just a nice one. And then everyone gets some cool things. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you enjoy videos like this, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't watched my getting a secondhand kitchen from a 30 million pound house video, definitely watch it because it was just a ride. And there's definitely going to be some more thrifty things like that when it comes to furnishing my house, because I mean, if I can get it at a discount, I'd like definitely like to. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Potentially with the clothing one. 
Okay, bye.